Hi folks and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be talking about how to host your own Zoom meeting. Now there are two ways to do this. The first one is just to go in and we're just going to start a Zoom, you know, immediately um, and then we can send people the details or we can actually schedule one, right? Now, in order to do that, you would either, either need the apps on your phone um, or you would have installed Zoom on your laptop or desktop computer. So once you open it, it's going to ask you, do you want to join a meeting or do you want to sign in? In order to host a meeting, you would have to sign in. Now, I'm going to sign in with my details, but you can sign in with uh, your Google details, your, your Gmail account. You can sign in with your Facebook details um, or you can set up a specific account for that. So I'm just going to sign in. And then you can see when you sign in, you've got these options, new meeting, join. Obviously, we don't want to join. We want to set up our own meeting. So these are the two that are going to be important. If I click on new meeting, this is now going to set up a brand new meeting live now. You can see it's connecting. You can see it's checking everything. There's my voice coming through and there's one participant in the meeting. Um, everything is down here. Now, you would use this option, let's say, if you need to you know, start a quick Zoom meeting, you can just say new meeting and then we can go in the corner over here. I'm going to click on that and that will give me the details to this meeting. So now you can share the meeting ID with folks so that when they log in, um, they'll just click join a meeting and type in that meeting ID. Or alternatively, you can click on the copy link and you can you know, send them that link via email, WhatsApp, whatever the case may be. Um, you also see that it will generate a passcode. So if it does ask people for that, then you can just share that with them. Okay, so that is me just going and setting up a meeting, um, you know, so that I can start right away. However, what if I want to host a meeting to be scheduled at a later stage? Now, I can either go to schedule over here and I can click on that. And here you can see I can set all of these details. So let's let's go through this. First of all, I can select the topic. So let's just say it's Zoom meeting training. I'm also going to indicate when it's going to be. And let's say, let's make it Thursday. We can set the time. We can also say how long it's going to you know, be for, how long the session is going to be. And if I put a tick in this, it means it's going to be a meeting that is going to be recurring. And you can see it now changes. Okay. But if I leave it like this, it means this is a meeting that's happening once um, and that's it. Meeting ID will be generated automatically or you can use your personal one. Please remember everyone that has a Zoom ID, um, you do have a personal meeting ID that's yours. I can indicate whether I want a passcode on it, whether I want people to go into a waiting room, which means they'll go into a waiting room, they'll sit there and on your screen it will say, um, someone has joined, do you want to admit them? So you would give them permission to be part of the Zoom. Um, you can put a tick in that, but generally you don't really need to use much of this. When it comes to the video, are you turning your video on or not? Are you allowing participants to turn their video on or not? Right? And then what sort of audio are you going to be using? Um, and then to your calendar, if you want this synced to your calendar. So for those who are using um, you know, Gmail, Ideally, you'd go and link it up to your Google Calendar so that it then creates a Google Calendar event for you as well. There are a few um, advanced options, things like allowing participants to join anytime, muting participants on entry. Oh, this is a beautiful one. <laughs> you want to have that. Okay, so when people jump in, you know, you don't just hear everything. It automatically mutes them when they come in. Um, you can also set it to automatically record the meeting on your PC or your laptop, wherever you are. Um, and then approve or block entry for users. Again, you can specify those things. But once I'm done, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click save. And you can see it's jumping to my Google Calendar. Um, it's wanting me to sign in. So let me just sign in over there. While I'm doing that, I'm going to go to meetings. And there you'll see Zoom training meeting has been scheduled. And I'm going to be the host for that meeting. So let's just go back here. Uh, that's fine. Let's access your account. And it's now going to throw that into my Google Calendar. Yeah, you can see it's going to the Google Calendar. And there we go. All right. So meeting training. I can save that. And there it is on my calendar. So guys, this is how um, we can then set up 
a, a meeting, a Zoom meeting, and you would then be the host. Then when it comes to actually doing it, you would just go in, uh, go to meetings and you'd click start. And there you would now be hosting your very own meeting complete with a Google Calendar reminder.